state laureate questions. One, <laughs> you scream. You, you, or, so you screamed. You were at I where were you? I screamed in my office, and somebody came in to see if I were okay. <laughs> I was getting ready to teach a night class at Northwestern, and I had an email I had just opened from one of the governors. He has some kind of board that deals with appointments to committees and appointments to offices. I can't forget the name of it, but um, she had emailed me and she said, the governor wants to appoint you state poet laureate. And I had to fill out some forms, like including um, every traffic ticket I've ever had in my life and things like this. I had, they had to you know, make sure, I guess, the last minute that I wasn't a, you know, a, a, a mm -hmm. criminal or something. And I opened that, and I just didn't think I was going to get it, mm -hmm. because the other two nominees you know, were fine poets, and they were also you know, much more Louisiana. Mm -hmm. you know, Natives? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, one was, one was a native, and one um, had lived in Louisiana many years, mm -hmm. but um, lived in Baton Rouge, you know, sort of the center of the mm -hmm. political you know, mm -hmm. world in Louisiana. So, you know, I just didn't think. Did you know your name was in the hat? I, yeah, they had announced the names of the three finalists mm -hmm. a bit before that, a month or so before that, and put out the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities mm -hmm. had issued a press release. So I did know I was a finalist, and I was really happy being a finalist, if that's as far as it had gone, I would have been really, you know, really touched by it. And so, if one of your, I think it was the WWNO interviews, mm -hmm. are where they said all you have to do is one public reading, but you are undertaking a campaign. Oh my God. And yeah, it's it has been wild. I've been all over the state, you mm -hmm. know, giving readings and talks and going to libraries and community centers and schools and things like that mm -hmm. and universities. It's it's really, really been fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a bunch of interviews. It's it it's been great. It's been you know I, what I love about it is that it's a platform to bring poetry to a wider audience mm -hmm. that might, you know, walk into a bookstore and buy a a book of contemporary poetry. Mm -hmm. You know, people who maybe like poetry when they were young but haven't, you know, messed with it in many years or mm -hmm. Children who are a little suspicious of it, or you know, or whatever. Um, I find that people will come to an event with a state poet laureate because it's their state, mm -hmm. you know, and they have a little bit of ownership in mm -hmm. that position. They're curious, mm -hmm. or you know, or whatever. Whereas they might not have come in the past if it were just me, mm -hmm. you know, Julie Kane was a poet coming to town, you know. Eh, but your poet laureate is coming to town. Okay. <laughs>